Ukraine. NATO has done everything that we have done with NATO since Russia's intervention into Ukraine has been of a defensive measure to be able to protect uh, NATO and our members uh, and, and also working together to help countries like Ukraine. There is nothing confrontational about it. It is not designed to confront anyone. That's not how it's being used. That's not how it's designed. I, I, in no way, I just don't understand logically how you can look at what something NATO is doing to protect our countries and compare it in any way to Russia sending, you know, surface-to-air missile systems across the border into Ukraine, which are, by definition, an offensive weapon. My Those are just categorically different things, Matt, and you're buying into the Russian propaganda if you equate them, no, no, quite I'm frankly. <laughs> Well, no. I'm well, you just are, actually, to, I think. The, no, the I tone just of the to, question does. Well, but you say our countries. NATO. Yeah, and Ukraine is not a NATO I, member. I understand so that's, that. So, I'm just, so the point of my question is, why is it that you can't see, or why do you reject out of hand the Russian complaint that this that this is that the, uh, the creation of because a Russian there's nothing offensive of, there's nothing offensive about a it, rapid reaction force it's, it's a defensive it's a defensive tool how can that be threatening to Russia is it, well, not, how can a defensive not, not tool be threatening thre to Russia not necessarily threatening to Russia but a but provocative and that's what I, <laughs> Because that's the point. And I'm not buying have, into any pro anyone's propaganda. Are, I think that's I the whole point. I actually think the tone of your questions on this on these exercises has been a little bit. I think there's absolutely no equivalence between countries taking steps to protect themselves, their partners, and their territory against someone who is sending arms and troops and men uh, over the border into another country. They're wholly different things. No, no one's going to sit by and not stand up for our principles and say, "Go ahead, Russia." We're, we're not going to take any steps to protect ourselves. Marie, you guys, you guys object to other countries' objections about your military exercises all the time, and you think that they're perfectly legitimate.